What's up, guys? It's Josh from Soul Studios. Today, I have the pleasure of reviewing the Serrano 87 microphone. And if you haven't heard of this yet, basically, it is a modern take on a Neumann U87. This is made by Carlos Serrano here in North Carolina. And I don't know what's in the water around here, but between Serrano and Heiserman, North Carolina is putting out some amazing microphones. So that's something we're very proud of around here. I've got it set up to record my voice, so everything you hear me speaking during this video will be in cardioid mode through the mic. You know, you can see the placement and so forth. And we're going to check it out on vocals, acoustic guitar, and electric guitar amp. Those are three of my favorite sources to use a U87 on. And eventually I'd like to get another so we can do things in stereo and check it out on drum overheads, toms, things like that. So before we get into the sound examples, I want to do a quick test here just to show the difference in sound of the three pickup patterns. We have Omni, Cardioid, and Figure 8 as options. And then on the back side of the mic, you can see here there's a low-end roll-off as well as a 10 dB pad. So we're going to go left to right. This is the Serrano 87 and Omni. This is the Serrano 87 and Cardioid. This is the Serrano 87 in figure eight. All right, so hopefully that gives you a little taste of the difference in sound depending on what pickup pattern you're in. So I really want you to get a true sense of how this mic sounds. So in the audio examples coming up, there's not going to be a bunch of EQ or compression going on. And most examples, all I'm doing is rolling off a little bit of low end. And whatever I did using the Massenburg plugin, I will put a screenshot up so you can tell exactly what was going on. Every track was tracked through the Shadow Hills Quad Gamma preamp on the iron setting, which is their Neve style. And the one example that has the vocal and acoustic together, I ran through the BG1 a little bit and added a little bit of TC Electronic D2 delay and a reverb from the Lexicon PCM70. And the reason I did that is because that is a normal tracking setup around here. So I kind of wanted to get a feel of how the mic sounded through that compressor and with the effects I would normally have for monitoring while we're tracking. But other than that, you're going to hear the mic standing on its own. And I think by the end of the clip, you'll have a pretty good idea of how it sounds in different pickup patterns and on different sources. So here we go. Let's check out the Serrano 87. We've taken a turn What do you say we get out of here? We watch it all burn There's nothing left to believe in We've taken a turn What do you say we get out of here? We watch it all burn There's nothing left to believe in
Okay, guys, there is the Serrano 87. I hope you enjoyed the clips. I hope you found it useful if you're on a search for a 87 style mic. Now, this is the second 87 style mic that I've reviewed. I also did the Bees Knees BU87. And the reason I continue to get these mics and check them out is honestly, in a studio setting, there may not be a more useful or versatile microphone ever made than a Neumann U87 because you get all the benefits of having a condenser for things like vocals and acoustic, but also, as you heard on a guitar amp, if you put it about a foot away, it's a really great sounding uh, guitar amp mic and a really nice alternative to an SM57 or some of the ribbon mics that have been so popular over the last couple of decades. So I still have the Bees Knees BU87 pair, and I plan on doing a comparison, but I wanted the Serrano to have its own separate review. And so in another video, I'm going to compare those two. And if you would, in the comments, let me know what other 87 style mics you would like to hear included in that. So closing thoughts, does this sound exactly like an 87? Well, not having an 87 here, uh, honestly, I don't know. Um, from memory, there there's elements that remind me of an 87. Uh, having said that, singing into a U87 AI in particular was not one of my favorites. It always felt like there was a little bit of that brick wall effect. And you've heard me on the channel as I've reviewed other microphones talk about when you do a shootout, to me, it's important how the microphone makes the singer feel. Is it bringing out emotion? Is it making it easy to do subtle notes? Like in the, the song in this example that had vocal and acoustic, it's just a, a new song I'm, I'm just in the process of writing. So it's more of a, a storytelling than, you know, some big vocal ballad performance. So the ends of the notes are, are very soft and, and there's a certain emotion that I want to convey there. And the Serrano really allowed me to hear as I was tracking to sort of start out bigger on the note if you want to and, and end softly or, you know, certain parts are louder than others. And some mics to be able to hit the pitch that you need to, when you can't hear that subtlety and that detail, you, you have to project louder than emotionally you want to sing the part. And that's a problem um, when I'm tracking other singers or when I'm tracking myself, I really need that microphone to be detailed enough and to be able to handle softer parts, louder parts, and everything in between. And the Serrano was really, really a joy to sing into. It's a great vocal microphone. Like I said, I'm going to do the direct comparison of the Bees Knees and the Serrano and some other 87s at another time. But I will say initial first thoughts, 
I know for sure is that I prefer the Serrano on vocal over the bee's knees. So if you are looking for a vocal microphone in particular, I found this one to be much more pleasurable to sing into. I really, I really like the way that it handled the top end and uh, just did that cool Neumann thing where it just sort of maintains clarity and brightness without having sibilance of a lot of the cheaper mics. Congrats, Carlos. You made an amazing microphone. It was great getting to meet you briefly and pick this up from you. Uh, go ahead and send me an invoice for another one. I need a pair of these. <laughs> Thanks for your time, guys. Appreciate you checking out the video. Go ahead and subscribe. Like the video. Ring the bell while you're here. We're going to review these AML Pultec clones here coming up next. All right. Thanks, guys. See you again soon.